Hello everyone, this is Flow Academy. In this video, we will continue our topic about series in the last video, and we will mainly talk about alternating series and convergent interval. So let's begin now. First, we will talk about alternating series. This is an alternating series. And notice that an is larger than 0 for ln. And if we want to determine whether or not an alternating series is convergent, we have two conditions. And the first one is that the absolute value of an plus 1 should be smaller than the absolute value of an, which means that the sequence for an is a decreasing sequence. And the second condition is that the limit of a n as n approaches infinity equals to zero. So if these two conditions are satisfied by the series, so the alternating series is convergent. And now we will prove these conditions. And first, we write down the alternating series. And because we know that the absolute value of a n plus 1 is smaller than the absolute value of a n. So if we combine the terms like this way, we can know that the value of each of those terms are larger than 0. So the value is larger than 0. And if we combine like this way, we can know that each of those terms are smaller than zero. So the value actually is smaller than a zero. So we can get that the alternating series is larger than 0 and smaller than a0. So we can get that the alternating series is convergent. And the convergent we said before actually is conditionally. Actually, in alternating series, there are two kinds of convergent. The first one is conditionally convergent and the second one is absolutely convergent. And if we say an uh, alternating series is an uh, absolutely convergent alternating series, it means that this is convergent. So if an alternating series satisfies this, it is an uh, absolutely convergent alternating series. And we can use comparison test, integral test, and ratio test to determine whether or not an alternating series is absolutely convergent alternating series. And then in alternating series, 
there is a really important thing, which is that the absolute value of s minus s n is smaller than a n plus one. So now we will prove this. We suppose that s equals to a zero minus a1 plus a2 minus a3 plus a4 into a infinity and sn equals to a0 minus a1 plus a2 minus a3 plus a4 to a n so we can get that the absolute value of s minus sn equals to a n plus one minus a n plus two plus a n plus three minus a n plus four and plus a n plus five to a infinity. So if we combine those terms like this way, we can get that all of those terms are larger than zero. So we can get the conclusion that the absolute value of s minus s n is larger than zero and smaller than a n plus one. And then I want to use an example to talk about convergent interval. So convergent interval is an interval that the series is convergent in it. And we suppose that there is a series for this series if we want to determine the convergence interval we always use ratio test and if we want to use ratio test we need to determine the value of the limit of the absolute value of a n plus 1 over a n as n approaches infinity which is this one and it equals to the limit of the absolute value of x times n over n plus 1 as n approaches infinity because n is approaching infinity so n over n plus 1 is 1 so the result is the absolute value of x because it is convergent so the result of this limit should be smaller than 1 and we also call this radius so when we solve for this inequality we can get that x is larger than negative 1 and smaller than 1 but notice that in ratio test if the result equals to 1 the ratio test is inconclusive so that we need to put this two points back to the series and to determine whether or not it is convergent. So first, we put negative one to the series. We can get the result is this. So this series actually is convergent because it is a harmonic alternating series or you can just use the test we learned before to justify this is a convergent series and then we put one 
back to the series, we can get this series. And this series is divergent. We can get the conclusion by integral test. So we can get the result that the conversion interval is when x is larger or equals to negative 1 and smaller than 1. And finally, we will have a summary about this video. In this video, we mainly talk about alternating series and convergent interval. And for alternating series, it has two kinds of convergent. One is conditionally convergent and the second one is absolutely convergent. And for conditionally convergent, it has two conditions. And the first one is the absolute value of an plus 1 should be smaller than the absolute value of an, which indicates that the sequence an is a decreasing sequence. And the second condition is that the limit of an as n approaches infinity equals to 0. And for absolutely convergent, If this series is convergent, we can state that this alternating series is absolutely convergent. And then we talk about the convergent interval. And for convergent interval, we always use ratio test. And because if r is smaller than 1, the series is convergent. So we just need to state that the result of the limit is smaller than 1. And then we just need to solve for an inequality. We can get the result. But don't forget that put two endpoints back to the series. And to determine whether or not these two series are convergent, this is really important. And most of students will forget this step. So don't forget this. If you are interested in our video, please leave a like and subscribe our channel.